from University of California, Berkeley. Uh, my field is education and my program is language, literacy, and culture. And my research interests are about literacy, international development, and sociolinguistics. I think I learned about IFAS through some friends. Um, I was studying Indonesian language at Berkeley and at Siasi. I found out about their summer research programs, their pre-PhD research programs, and I decided to apply. Yes, AFIS has assisted me before. Um, I had a uh, AFIS grant in the summer of 2015 that enabled me to do a pilot research project before I started my dissertation research. And then I got another grant from AFIS to do a project with my collaborator at Atmajaya University, Uyandi, um, that is a separate project from my dissertation project, um, and that's about language ideologies in Eastern Indonesia. in many AFIS sponsored events. Um, I've given talks that AFIS helped coordinate at the end of my research periods. Um, I have also, um, in Jogjakarta, I gave a talk at Stayo um, in 2015, I believe. I've also participated in conferences that AFIS has um, supported. So that includes Kolita at Atmajaya, um, and then also the annual linguistics conference, um, and then also the anthropology conference, the annual anthropology conference that I attended in Georgia this last year. I came to um, Indonesia initially in 2015 for my pilot project. Um, so this was preliminary research for my dissertation. And at that point, I was looking at multilingualism in Beilu. So there's all of these programs focused on getting first, second, and third graders at a higher reading proficiency um, in Indonesian language. One of the challenges in doing so has to do with um, the fact that many of these students don't know any Indonesian before they start first grade. And so, um, in order to do a project focused on Indonesian literacy, you have to take into account the sort of multilingual uh, environment that all of these students grow up in. And so, my project was looking at how does that, how does the multilingualism of the area affect the way that the students understand Indonesian literacy? How do the teachers adapt their teaching plans such that they can translate or accommodate all the students that maybe don't even just speak one local language, maybe they have more than one language present in their classroom. Um, and then how can um, international development or other outside agencies work to um, adapt their programs for multilingual populations? So that was my preliminary research. Um, AFIS also supported me in another research project that's the one with Ibu Yanti at Atmajaya University in Jakarta. And that one is about um, language ideologies in Eastern Indonesia. So um, Ibu Yanti and I carried out a, a pilot on our own. And then once we got the results of the pilot, I applied for the APHIS grant to support us for our next round of research. Um, and so for this research, what we're doing is we um, got together a team of researchers from Eastern Indonesia and we did a training on research methodologies, um, and then we recruited them to do uh, surveys and interviews in their native languages about language ideologies. So asking people questions about how they feel about their local languages, when it's appropriate to use it, um, whether they thought that the language was threatened or not, um, and uh, the meaning of their language in their everyday life using their language in their everyday life. Um, and so at this point, Ibu Yante and I are analyzing the data. We've already published one piece from this research, um, and we're working on our next publication. My um, relationship
relationship with Indonesia has been going on for over 10 years now. Um, I started coming here when I was an undergraduate in college um, because I was studying. Um, I was doing a comparative research project between Malaysia and Indonesia and Chinese medium education um, and policies about Chinese medium education in both places. And then immediately after I graduated from college, I spent a year as a Fulbright Fellow teaching English in Makassar um, at a high school at SMA Atira. And so um, after that, uh, when I started doing my graduate studies, I had a lot of friends uh, here in Indonesia and I had a lot of interest. I had a lot of unresolved questions about uh, education, about language, um, and so I decided to come back and try it for my uh, dissertation research. There's a lot of things I like about Indonesia, um, big things and little things. Um, I think most concretely, I like my uh, friends and people who I consider almost to be family here. Um, people who I've known for over 10 years, uh, people who I met just last year. Um, and so some of these relationships are the reason why I most want to come back here. Um, but I like the food, I like um, the lifestyle. Um, I like the laughter. Um, I like doing research here. I find that a lot of people want to share their experiences and in fact that's something that Ibu Yanti and I really found out during the course of doing this um, project on language ideologies in Eastern Indonesia. Because these surveys and interviews were done in local languages with our research assistants, um, we asked our research assistants to choose uh, respondents from different educational backgrounds, different age groups, and we asked our research assistants to um, write a lot of field notes during their experiences about, you know, their experiences doing these um, questionnaires and interviews. And so many times in these field notes, we've been reading that people are just so happy to be asked. So people are, want to share their opinions, um, and. Uh, Often, you know, some of these people feel like they don't have other avenues to express their opinions on uh, language policies in schools or on um, curricula or things like that. And, you know, especially people who maybe only uh, went to elementary school or only went to a couple years of school. Um, so I think that's kind of the most exciting and interesting part is People like to talk about their opinions and it's really fun to do research because people have a lot of stories that they want to share and those stories are really interesting. I've had great experiences working with all the IFIS staff um, here in Jakarta, in Jogja with Mas Faisal, here with Mas Anas, Pat Johan. Um, everybody's been really helpful um, both before arriving for my research, um, even helping with the research visa process, which can be kind of intimidating um, and difficult to navigate if you haven't done it before, especially doing it from afar in America. Um, and then all the way to, um, you know, it's I, my uh, closest collaborator here at Uyanti, I met because of Mas Anas and Pat, pa uh, Pat Johan. It was because I did my whole research and then I had to give my IFAS talk at the end of my research period and you all suggested, oh, why don't you try Amajaya? And it was at that talk that I met Ibu Yanti and then we started our discussions and then she became my sponsor for when I did my dissertation research and then we came up with this whole other project that's ongoing. And so IFAS has really been a huge help to me.